Hello everyone, in this video today I will show you how to install NVIDIA graphics drivers on any Hackintosh. Now I hope everyone to have a graphics card as it's, it will improve the Hackintosh performance. So here I will demonstrate how to install the NVIDIA CUDA driver first and then I will show you how to install NVIDIA web driver on your Hackintosh. So now let's begin the installation. First of all, I'll show you how to install NVIDIA CUDA driver on your Hackintosh. For that, open any web browser of your choice and uh, type in NVIDIA CUDA driver into the search bar. Now you will be given a series of search results. And from this, you have to select any of the results. So I have selected the archive of NVIDIA website here because my Hackintosh version is a bit too old as I am running Yoshamite. So I have to download a version of um, CUDA 7.0.64 driver. Well, I have been redirected to the download page here and it shows that it supports 10.10 .10 Yosemite as well as 10.9 Mavericks of macOS version. Now, as the web page seems to be taking some time to load, I will bring your attention to something else. Well, I will bring your attention to my YouTube channel. I have a dedicated playlist here in my channel meant for Hackintoshes along with all the other interesting stuff on which I post videos. So subscribe to my channel. Or just save any of these videos that you think would be useful for you in the near future into your playlist or download them because someday these videos are definitely going to help you. Now the web, we can come back to our website as it have loaded and let's start the download of the CUDA driver. Now let's try installing the CUDA driver from the downloads. Well, here we have the interactive download installer. Well, it says that CUDA driver can't be opened because it's from an identified developer. Well, just click on the OK button and um, open it with the installer. Well, now you have the option to either cancel or continue so click on open to continue with the installation process and you will be taken to the installation menu just click on continue and uh, continue the installation and uh, then wait for the installation to be over well the installation takes about 5 to 10 minutes to be completed here I have fast forwarded the installation so that you don't have to wait till that time. Now CUDA driver have been installed on my Hackintosh and if you have followed my steps closely then it would have been installed on your Hackintosh too. Now I will show you how to install NVIDIA web driver on your Hackintosh. So first of all open any web browser and uh, you have to type in the search bar NVIDIA web driver with your Mac version and your graphics card name. Well, I have a Mac, uh, a graphics card of NVIDIA 210 series and uh, now in order to find the Mac version of your Hackintosh, just go into about this Mac from the top bar and there you can see the OS X version of yours. Mine here is Yoshamite and its version ID is 10.10. .10 That's the version number. So you have to include those in the search question that you are typing into the search bar well after it's done just click on the enter button and you will be given a lot of results here well here i have results from nvidia instantly mac tony max and loads of other web pages i will just choose nvidia web page here and here i can see that this version is only meant for yoshamite 10.10.5 
but my mac os x version is yoshimai 10.10 so i can't basically use this so i'll just go back uh, to the insanely mac web page and here they have a lot of drivers for all of the yoshimite versions so i'll just scroll down and here i have the web driver version for os x 10.10 and uh, i'll just download it now the web driver have been downloaded now i'll just go over to my downloads folder and double click on the web driver installation package well unfortunately it says that this computer is not compatible with nvidia web driver and um, i only have the option to close the installation well i will show you how to fix this problem that you will be experiencing search for developer apple you will be taken to the apple developer website now you have to enter the website and in case you don't have an account in this website you have to create an account well once you have completed creating an account go to the downloads section and then click on the more button in the top right corner well from the more uh, you'll be taken to another web page with a search bar and loads of uh, other stuff in the search you have to search auxiliary tools well you will be given a lot of results and uh, you have to scroll down to auxiliary tools for xcode late july 2012 now just click on it and you will be given the download link for a dmg package you have to download this dmg package now after downloading this dmg package you have to go into your downloads folder right click on the package that you have downloaded and um, open it well after opening the package you will have something like this where is, there is something called package maker now you have to open the package maker as show package contents well here you have a folder called contents and from there another folder called resources you have to open the resources folder and then you have to find a file called flat package editor now you have to click on this file and drag and drop it into your applications folder of your mac once you have done this you can find this uh, file in your applications folder here as flat package editor now you have to go back into your downloads folder and uh, find out your uh, nvidia web driver installation package right click on it and um, open it with a flat package editor now after opening it with the flat package editor you will have a separate window where you can see four stuff there is a file called distribution just below the resources folder drag and drop into the desktop to create a copy of that uh, file now right click on it and open text editor after opening it with the text edit you have to just go through the code that comes up and uh, in this code you will find some uh, location called uh, function find hardware well after you find this code you have to just uh, scroll down a bit and you can see a line called found an nvidia graphics card and after that you have one return one and after that you have one return zero so you have to change this return zero into return one because this function find hardware is a conditional statement and um, it checks for some basic stuff on your nvidia graphics card and the hardware of your computer well after changing return 0 to return 1 you have to just click command s or um, click on the close button to save changes to this distribution file now you have to go into the, the flat package editor window that was open and click on the distribution file inside that window and uh, press the delete button to delete it now you have to just drag and drop the file that we had uh, modified and kept in the desktop into this folder save the stuff 
and then close this um, flat package editor window now you can go into your downloads location again double click on the nvidia web driver installation package and now the installer comes up without any errors now you can choose your download location click on install enter your password then continue on with the installation the installation takes about 10 to 15 minutes to be completed well after the installation is complete you will have to restart your computer so let's wait for the installation to be over now the installation have completed and uh, i am going to restart my computer well after restarting the computer i have logged into my desktop here and here on the top bar itself i can see some changes i have an eye icon in the top bar now i'll just uh, go into the system preferences and uh, yes here i have graphics options including that of cuda driver as well as the nvidia web driver well i'll just open the nvidia web driver manager and uh, i have some options like um, graphics card info updates checking for updates or whether i want to check for updates or not now i have successfully installed both nvidia cuda as well as nvidia web driver on my hackintosh well as you saw i can see its options in the top bar as well as in the preferences menu now you can see the settings that were available when i opened um, those stuff for you people now if you have any doubts Post them as comments below and I will get back to them as soon as possible. Well, thanks for watching and bye.